943, 944. And I guess I'm hearing Ian Anderson. If that's incorrect, please let me know in the chat box. That's what I'm hearing for my trusted source, Mr. Base Winner. Ian Anderson and the Braves at plus 146. Michael King and the Fathers here at minus 165. Total of seven flat across the board at minus 110. B-Dub, am I just being too square? Is this too easy here? Braves played doubleheader yesterday, wild doubleheader. Their ace is now not available to pitch game one. So now they're going to God knows who. We're guessing Ian Anderson here. We don't even know if that's for sure. Ian Anderson, I don't even have in my database anymore. So no bullpen arms. You got to be exhausted. Doubleheader yesterday. They travel all the way to the West Coast. Now they're playing the Padres, probably one of the hotter teams in the postseason. I took Padres double results here at plus 110. But is this just too easy? Are the Braves going to do something here and surprise us? Yeah, I think I, I don't think so. I think that the, the way to play it is the way you're going to play it. Uh, and you're playing the double result, right? Is that what you just oh, said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're I saw that double, you were too. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing what? the double result, but I, I you know, really? I, I'm trying to make a case for Ian Anderson and the Braves, and I think the only way you could do it is if you're a real huge fan of Jethro Tull. Of course, he's the he's the cover guy for for the band Jethro Tull, and I'm not really that familiar with the band Jethro Tull. Kyle, do you do you know Jethro Tull Tull songs? I mean, a little. I'd have to like hear it and then be like, oh, that's Jethro Tull. Okay, you know what I mean. I'm not just. Like, I can oh, think yeah, of the. Uh, is it is it. Uh, Cross-eyed Susie, I can I, the, I can hear the guitar riff. I love that. That's a great yeah, guitar. Yeah, fantastic that's about, musicians. That's about as much Jethro Tull as I have, other than the similarities in the name, which which I thought I think is very very interesting. But from a pricing standpoint, got it priced at minus two seventeen. I, I don't think that you you second guess yourself. You've got Michael King. Michael King. He is pitched like a king rather than a jack. Remember, we were saying when, when he was struggling, uh, the king's pitching like a jack, but he is pitched like a true king here. He's 15th in the base winner ratings, uh, 97th percentile from a hard hits per nine allowed, and then a 92nd percentile in strikeout percentage. And if that's not enough to make you want to play this game, well, look at the offensive ratings. You've got the fourth best offense in baseball. Uh, with the Padres versus right-handed pitching versus a, a disappointing Braves offense, the way it, it, it is comprised right now, 18th in baseball. And if you would have say, if you would have guessed at the beginning of the year, if I would have guessed uh, that the Braves are going to be in the, in the bottom half of baseball at the end of the year for, for offensive production, uh, I, I wouldn't have believed you. And, but they are by, by the ratings. Uh, the one thing that, that's concerning is the Braves' bullpen. It's very good. So they might be able to, pr- to pitch Jethro Toll the first couple innings and then kind of piece it together. Uh, but I think that from a pricing standpoint, it makes sense to play this double result, Kyle. <laughs> Casey K says, I think that might very have been Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Maybe. No, I was Jethro, right? No, I got- well, yeah. He, he says something like, and I got my aqua lung. I'm going to throw some Jethro Tull. That's about as much Jethro Tull as I know. So I was I was hoping that you would. I know Corby doesn't know any Jethro Tull. I, I don't even think he's heard of the band, which is, I mean, just shows you how old we are, Kyle. But uh, I, I was Man. I was kind of counting on you to, to to pull the Jethro Tull out. I know. I've been distracted. I got to tell you, I'm not feeling well. I did not sleep well, not feeling well today. I'm a little under the weather, Man. if you will. Uh, Corby, what do you think about this one? So Ian Anderson, I guess I haven't seen any other nominees for the pitcher and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I guess we're going to go off that roto wire name and Ian Anderson, regardless, it's not going to be their best arms. We know that. And so we can handicap it that way. But again, is this just way too easy? Are we being way too square here? Is the universe going to crap on us tonight? Yeah, uh, probably not. Um, I will say <laughs> a few things. First off, bet you us. Best sports book there is because they do action action. Last night when there was no pitcher announced, you could assume it wasn't Max Fried. He would be pitching on three days' notice. You could assume it wasn't Ronaldo Lopez. He pitched, I think, Monday, one inning. And just came back Char- from injury, too. He's not, yeah. not supposed to be, really. Yeah. Charlie Morton, I don't really know his his timetable. Uh, so you could assume it was somebody crappy. Yet last night, this was <laughs> this was minus 144 Padres on action action. Um uh, if you if you had a listed pitcher at most other sports books, it's going to be voided once Anderson's put in. Uh, but 140 was a great price. I grabbed some last night. But for this, it doesn't help me to tell you. It doesn't help you for me to tell you what I bet last night. Now, does it? Mm. I want the first five over three and a half runs minus. I think I got minus 20. Um, I could be yep. wrong there. You got so, it. Yep. Oh, first five over three and a half runs minus 120. Ian Anderson. He's looked good in AAA. Don't get me wrong. I think he went six innings pitch of three hits the other day. 
he's still a triple-A pitcher. He hasn't pitched in the majors since 2022. And again, similar spot to the Mets. Like, they had a doubleheader yesterday. Two, like, grueling games, too. For some reason, game two was, like, way was too not close easy. for comfort. They threw, yeah. they threw all of their good arms game two as well. So what I see here mm-hmm. is an Ian Anderson spot where Ian Anderson is asked if they're down, which we all kind of think they will be, to go five innings, six innings, which he's done in AAA time and time again. So I am i don't think that they bring the good bullpen arms in. And if you told me I could get over three and a half runs, Padres Braves with a AAA pitcher in, I take that every single day of the week. Michael King's good. Uh, I don't think that he can leverage all of this by himself. Padres up through five, over three and a half. Feels like a good price here. Yeah, I, and I... Damien Edwards says, this is where the Braves blow up the books today. Something smells from the well where all of a sudden the Padres are the Padres. And damn it, I already have daddy trust issues here. We know that. I'm begging the fathers not to do it tonight. Just show up, Jim Carrey. Let me be Jose Canseco. You can be Hideo Nomo. Tonight, we are locking in. All three of us have plays on this. So we've got the first five over three and a half runs at minus 120 for Corby. Both base winner and I. Look at this. Is this your first double result, B-Dub? This might be it. Oh, I can't hear it. You're muted. It, it muted him. But uh, I think it's one of it's, it's, it's if it's not, if it's not it's, the first um, one. Go ahead. It's it's not the first of 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 my career here, but it's I think it's the first of the year, Kyle. But I, I like it. to play. I mean, the only thing the only thing that that, that now I'm like because I'm I kind of get a little yep. spiritual and superstitious. Sure. And Corby sure. used Corby used the term grueling to mm. to uh, to describe the the Braves what they have to do from a travel standpoint, and that's all uh, the, the, the song. And I'm gonna correct myself. I thought it was cross-eyed Susie, but it's cross-eyed Mary. And there's oh. there's a unexpense accounted gruel is one of the one of the lyrics there. So maybe there's some kind of like uh, you know energetic thing and i just thought that was super interesting kyle the cross-eyed mary the, the guitar riff on that ian anderson uh, jethro toll song is, is is awesome it's spectacular there, there we go joe everett says muted on the double result is a bad omen indeed so many omens but we are going to lock in that double result both base winner and i at plus 110